gorgeous Friday afternoon for softball from Gainesville, Florida and Katie Seashell Presley Stadium. And two of the best programs in the country are at it. So it is Elizabeth Hightower and Elizabeth Mason. And we are underway with a beautifully delivered strike one. Team ERA. Mason in the air left side. This is playable for the third baseman, Charlotte Eccles. And an easy out number one. Hightower with a 2-2. And Flaherty chases one up and away for strike three. Hit her friendly count on 3-1. Yeah. And know, Cheryl takes ball four. I wasn't surprised to see Coach Alameda move her up in the lineup for a game like this game. For the game here in the first. Now the freshman Kaylee Harding sends one into left field in Jamie Hoover's direction. And a fairly painless first inning for Elizabeth Hightower. Works quickly around the two out walk. Games like Hannah Adams has. And there is strikeout number two. Been a backwards count here too. Ooh. It was a ball, but some, you know, sometimes you're gonna guess those right, Kevin, and sometimes you're way wrong. It's ball you'll see it do most. Could have been anywhere there. Four in a row out of the zone to Eccles. Seven straight have missed. Cottrell to third base. Cheryl goes to second. On to first. The turn is in time for Flaherty. Nearly pulled Mason off the bag. But she sticks it with her foot for an around the horn double play. And Lonnie Alameda is loving it. A couple of great freshmen have gone down with ACL issues this year. Landers thrown out with a shortstop. These home runs that they're hitting going up against a good LSU pitching staff. That has Hoover been tested. chases a rise up and away for strike three. One, two. And she goes off speed to get Wilkie. A knee buckler to end the inning. Strike three with a paint job. And Hightower erases Mays. Gators and the Seminoles, two of the top teams. We expect to be in contention to get there. And if Florida can get some production out of the shortstop position, that's going to help Sarah Longley with just her third hit of the year. And the season ended. Strike three. Lindsay late. Already four of those swings and misses on that. And this one is zipped to the outside corner at the knees for strike three. And a big smile on Caitlin Arnold's face. And if you struck out Hannah Adams, you'd smile out wide too. Coach, go ahead. One minute left. Side to hold back. Swings on 3-1. And the shortstop, Muffley, is there to end the third. So we get the first hit of the game from Sarah Longley, but Arnold works around it. Flaherty. And she goes down, chasing another rise ball for strike three. Walks Harding there, though, and Florida State has its first base runner since the first. That is low. There goes Harding, and she is out. What a throw by Cottrell. Only the second caught stealing in 3-2. Eccles in the right field. This is long gone. There is a reason you throw Charlotte Eccles changeups on 3-1, and there's a reason you don't throw that on 3-2. Her third home run of the season, and Florida unlocks the scoring on a blast from Charlotte Eccles. Now, Arnold had been super careful pitching to Eccles, not giving her anything. But, Kevin, when you talked about the adjustments to make on a rise ball pitcher, this is it. That's the adjustment. A pitch that's up in the zone, you get your barrel to it. Just a line drive shot over right field. You expect to pitch up in the zone. You know that it's coming. RBI, both to lead the team. Cottrell with a bouncer to third. And Cheryl throws her out. Back to Arnold. And two ground outs after the home run. Just to make us feel like we're back in Gainesville. To third, Sidney Sherrill. And a 1 2 3 inning after. Outs in its first 13 games. 
And Hightower's been twirling one here. This will give Lindsay and Hoover a little bit of trouble, but Hoover is able to make the play backpedaling time this year. And she starts with a hit by pitch, too high and too tight to Emily Wilkie. The experience. Jam shot from longer to second. That's caught by Flaherty back to first. And Kistler was way out of line off first. And a double play gifted to Danielle Watson. Absolutely huge for Florida State. Unsure if Kistler was running. This is a hit and run. Yep, she was running on the pitch. Easy double play for Florida State. Take a miracle if she got behind her. Lindsay lays down a bunt. Nice play by Shell Nutt, but couldn't complete the throw to Mason at first. <laughs> you sure do. <laughs> that is not even close. Another non-competitive rice ball from Watson. And Adams is on with a walk to extend the inning for Lindemann. Watson on a 1-2. And Lindemann serves one in the air to left field. Mudge will not have a play. It's a three-run home run. A two-strike, two-out blast from Kendall Lindemann. And the hit that she and Florida's offense needed. I think with Watson and her outing, she's either been too far out of the zone or too much in the zone. She got ahead of Kendall Lindemann. Did a good job of it, too, especially after showing some non-competitive pitches. But this is a one-two count right down the pipe. Beltai and Lindemann is going to be able to get all of this. Didn't get out enough, didn't get up enough. And Kendall Lindemann, a big bomb. Eccles, and that's why. Shelnut will make the play on Eccles and the inning. Two out, nobody on for the nine hitter. A few batters to go. And there it bats. Shelnut jackknifes one foul. Eccles meeting with a catch for Cottrell. She makes the play for the first down here in the sixth. On the ground is shortstop. Longley for one. Mason will beat out the return. Longley to Adams, a 6-4 fielder's choice. Just 79 pitches, 1-2. And Flaherty goes the other way for Florida State's first hit. The no-hit bid ends four outs away. Devin Flaherty is on with a two-out single in the sixth. Just anticipating that outside pitch. This was two or three balls off the plate, but when you go up and commit to... This season in 39 and third. Oh my goodness, they get the runner hung up and the throw gets away as Mason scoots to third. Elizabeth Mason finds her way to third base as Eccles couldn't hang on to the low throw and Florida State puts two in scoring position. She was going to be throwing to second base. Instead, she throws to shortstop, which you don't see very often. The Longley gets the ball, throws it to Eccles. So the right play. On 3-0, Cheryl swings away into left field. Hoover with a terrific sliding catch to save a couple of runs. Well, Hightower gave up a hit, but she's still throwing a shutout. Thanks to Jamie Hoover out there in left field. And it's fourth year as a program. They're ranked 15th, one spot ahead of FSU. It's ball four, Dan. Hoover. Takes high, great battle. Anywhere she wants to, no matter the count. It's been better in this at bat to Kistler. She gets a strike out there, but. The 11th pitch to Sarah Longley, the number eight hitter, is inside. What a plate appearance by Longley. Lindsay in the air to center field, and that falls in, base hit. Morgan had to play it on a hop. Hoover is out trying to score a second run, so forget about the throw to third. But it is an RBI single for Lindsay to score Buffano, and Florida adds one more here in the sixth. Danny Morgan making the throw out there in center field for the final out. Among teams with six or more, they are first by a good margin. 
Morgan in the left field, and Hoover is Jamie on the spot again. That is high. 1-1. One, one. On the ground left side. Longley to first. And it's another one hitter for Elizabeth Hightower and the Florida Gators. A brilliant pitching performance from the right-handed junior out of Monticello.